Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you are all safe and well. Today's video I have been shopping at Selfridges because if anyone knows me I'm obsessed with buying products at the minute because there's nothing else I can spend my money on. So I have been on a bit of a shopping spree and I thought I would test out some new products with you guys today. So I am very, very excited about this. So I bought a new foundation. Now this was a bit on the expensive side, but I love the other formula of this foundation. So I thought I have to try this. And it is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. And this is in the shade Linen. Again, I find it so difficult to match myself online but I'm hoping I have done a good enough job. But this is what it looks like. I like packaging as well, and the fact that this is frosted with a really nice lid just sells it for me, to be honest, and that is awful, and I know it is, but I want to see whether this is as good as the Vanish Stick Foundation, because I really, really enjoyed using that, but it was just a bit too thick and heavy on my skin. So I'm hoping this might be a bit better. The other products that I'm going to be testing today for you guys is one that's been going around YouTube, TikTok, everywhere for such a long, long time. And I finally bought it. It was actually cheaper than the foundation, which is awful. It's so bad. <laughs> but I just, I wanted to try this out. And it is the Chanel, the Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. Now, this is what it looks like, and I think everyone has seen it at some point, either on TikTok or on YouTube. So I bought it. <laughs> I am so excited. I want to see whether I can create a really, really nice look with these two products. I was going to do this in a separate video, but I just feel like I like testing products together. So we're gonna test these out today. You can all comment below and be like, why the hell are you spending so much money? I know, I know, but I'm obsessed with makeup. So we're just gonna go from there. So if you want to see my thoughts on these two products and how they work on my skin, and I'll also wear them for the rest of the day, then just keep on watching. Right, so I'm going to prime my skin with my usual products. And I'm just going to put my e.l.f. Poreless Putty in my T-zone because this is really good at filling in those pores and just smoothing out my skin. As you can see, my skin has broken out quite badly all around this area. I'm not too sure if that's mask wearing or whether it's just hormones. I think it's hormones. So I use that in the T-zone and then I use this this is a little tester that I got from Too Faced and this is the Primed and Poreless Pore Banishing Blurring Face Primer and I really like this one. I don't know why, I just really like it and I use quite a bit of primer and then this just go goes all over my face. Usually I put like a luminous, this Autograph Luminosity Radiant Skin Base but I think I'm just going to leave it as it is today because I feel like this foundation is going to be quite matte. Hourglass have got sale on at the minute and I keep going on their website and it's awful. Absolutely awful. So the description says for features and benefits, it's a highly concentrated formula, delivers instant full coverage. Oh, I haven't had like a full, full coverage foundation in quite a while. Innovative coated pigment to create a smooth, long wearing application without drying out the skin. Formulated with light refracting microspheres to blur and create a soft focus complexion. This already sounds like my heaven. Phase proof, 24 hour long wearing formula lasts all day. Waterproof, transfer proof and sweat proof. And it's available in 32 shades which is really really good. The formula is highly concentrated. Start with less and apply more as needed. Apply half a pump and a dot onto forehead, nose, chin and cheeks. Blend out with your preferred tool. Oh my god. Ah, I'm really excited. So that's all it says is just go in with a little bit of product at a time and then build up. I'm trying to think. I think I'm going to go in and cover some of these spots just because that's what I usually do for any foundation. So I feel like that's not a very good way of testing if I don't do it for this. So I'm just going to quickly go over these spots because these are so red at the minute and I don't get why. Okay, so I have just 
taken some of the redness out of my skin just by putting on a bit of concealer like I usually do. We're now going to test out this foundation. I'm going to give it a shake because I shake all of my foundations just in case they've like separated during being stored. Oh it's quite nice, it's very snazzy. I'm going to start with a pump. It's quite liquidy, I wasn't expecting it to be so liquidy. Okay we're just going to go in and just press this into our skin. It might be a bit orange. I'm not too sure if this is going to match. I'm just going to do half my face and then I'll go over to the other half of my face and then we can kind of compare. That looks so nice. What the hell? And it's not heavy at all. That coverage is amazing. So this is just concealer and then this is the foundation. <sighs> that is lovely it might be a little bit orange but then when i look at myself i feel like this it kind of matches it's quite luminous i was expecting like a fully like matte finish so i've done half my face so this half has got the foundation on and then this half is just concealer that is amazing right now i'm just going to do the other half of my face obviously it'd be a bit nicer if i didn't have spots to cover up <laughs> oh my god this is so nice and it's not really drying the issue i had with the vanish stick foundation is it would dry and my skin would be so like uncomfortably dry when using it okay so i'm gonna come in closer it's got such a nice healthy glow usually if you have something that's full coverage you're not going to get that healthy glow it's usually quite heavy and quite thick and quite matte but this has given me a really really nice glow to my skin i'm obsessed at the minute that is so nice obviously we've got to see how other products layer on top and how it wears through the day but that is gorgeous I'm going to quickly go off camera and do my eyebrows. If you do want to see my full eyebrow routine, I will link it down below for you guys. I did upload it last week in a back to basics eyebrow routine for you guys because I thought I'd start doing something like that on my channel. So if you want to go check that out, it will be linked down below. But I'm now going to go off camera and do them because I hate doing them on camera. And I'll be back to try out this and to see how everything else layers up on top of this foundation. Okay, so I've done my eyebrows. I'm now going to just conceal my under eyes. So I'm going to take my Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I'm just going to do my usual of just doing a dot in the corner and a dot on the outer corner of my eye and then just blend it out with my sponge and we're just going to see whether it moves any of my foundation or whether it just blends in really nicely. I think that's blended in really nicely into that foundation. There's no like movement of the product underneath. Okay, so that is all blended in super nice. Like there's no movement of my product, there's no breakage, so it's not like collecting anywhere. It's just sort of smoothed out my skin. So now we're going to move on to the next product, which is the Chanel Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. I'm really nervous about this. I don't know why I'm nervous about it. I think it's because I don't actually know. I don't know what the nerves are about. I think maybe that I'm gonna end up putting too much product on and I'm gonna end up looking muddy. So this says it's a unique, lightweight and easy to blend cream gel bronzer with a delicate velvet finish that gives a natural sun-kissed glow. The generously sized jar makes it easy to swirl the kabuki brush for effortless application. So it says how to use. The lightweight cream is best applied with a Chanel brush to smooth the bronzer where the sun would hit, such as across the cheek, nose, forehead, chin and decolletage, which is like this bit. 
For a natural sun-kissed look, swirl the Chanel Kabuki brush in the large jar and buff the bronzer all over your face, targeting the forehead, temples, nose and chin. So I'm going to do it using my damp beauty blender because I've seen so many people apply it like this. So I'm going to open this up. Oh, it smells quite nice. And it looks like a swirl. I'm really nervous. Why am I so nervous? So I'm just going to take my sponge and just swirl it around a little bit and get a little bit of that product on there and then just bounce it onto my cheekbones. It's just giving that healthy glow that you want from a product. And it's layering onto the foundation really nicely as well. It just gives such a healthy look. I was expecting something that was gonna be really difficult to blend. I don't know why. I was expecting it to be like really dark and look really muddy on my skin because I've had so many like cream contours that have done that. Look at that glow. It's not even moved the product underneath either. I'm gonna just use my sponge and just blend out those edges because I always blend too far up on my cheekbones. And it's really easy to layer, so I just take a little bit more and then you can just apply a little bit heavier if you want it to be. And then I'm just going to take a little bit and just go down my nose as well. And a bit under my jawline. That is gorgeous. It just adds that bit of glow that you need. Like you don't need to put too much bronzer on and so easy to blend like you just blend it in and there's no issues it doesn't look muddy if you put a bit of this like concealer over the top because sometimes when you do that it can mix and look really muddy that is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i don't know what to do next now because i don't really want to put powder on top of this because i know i'm not messing things up with putting powder on top but I'm going to go in with a little bit of bronzer just to set this in place. So I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer and I'm just going to lightly, lightly just tap some over. Oh my word. I love how this is looking. My skin looks healthy but covered. I don't have any redness coming through. I don't have any like discoloration. Okay, so I'm now gonna go in with my NARS blush. This is my tiny orgasm blush, which looks like this. And just on my Scott Barnes brush. Okay, so now I just need to set my under eyes because I cannot stand having creased under eyes. So I'm just going to take my translucent setting powder and the tiniest amount of powder on my sponge and just set right under. And then I'm going to put a little bit over my chin and just lightly tap it all over my face just because I just want to set down some of that shininess. I don't want to look completely matte but I also don't want to look completely shiny. I'm now going to go in with my highlighter and just see how this layers up. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Soft and Gentle. I love this highlighter. It's just so sort of natural and just looks so nice on the skin. And with the mineralized skin finish it's quite a natural highlighter that it just looks so nice on the skin and doesn't look chunky i'm then going to go in with a bit more highlight because i love my highlight this is the Too Faced um love light in ray of light this is the pinky version and i'm just going to really hit that 
on the tops of my cheekbones and also I'm going to take this into the inner corner of my eye as well and then we're just blending everything together ensuring that that highlighter doesn't look too chunky Okay, so I'm now going to go off camera and I'm actually testing out another product for you guys, but it's going to be in another video. It will be in tomorrow's video, so you guys can go check that out. But this is what my skin is looking like at the minute. This foundation has such a nice healthy glow. It's a really nice match as well. And the Soleil, I want to say Soleil, but it's not. The Chanel bronzer just created the perfect base to bronze up my skin without making it look too heavy and without giving me that muddy look which is definitely what i'm looking for and i will highly highly recommend this product at the minute i'm gonna obviously test it out through the day but i'm just gonna quickly nip off camera do my eyes and then i'll be back to show you the finished look and then go off for the rest of my day Okay, so I have now done my eyeshadow and I'm just going to leave this foundation on and wear it for the next, I'm going to say about nine hours and just see how it wears because that's the average time that you'll be wearing a foundation. But I am loving how my skin is looking. I think it looks so dewy and just glowy and also very, very full coverage without that heaviness on my skin. But yeah, so far, so good. I am loving this, but as I said, I will test it out through the day and just see how it wears. It doesn't feel sticky at all, and that is lovely because I do have some foundations where they feel really sticky on my skin to create that glowiness, but this doesn't. It just feels so, so nice. So I'm now going to carry on wearing it, and then I'll check in with you guys in nine hours. Okay, so it's now the end of the day. I've had this makeup on for about nine hours now. And I've also been out in the rain in it because I went for a walk and it started raining. It is a little bit oily. I think I'm just struggling at the minute with my makeup. Some days I absolutely love my makeup and I think it looks amazing. Some days I look at it and I go, it could have been so much better. I, re I like how it looks. I just think there's something missing and I'm not too sure what it is. But the foundation itself is amazing. The bronzer went on like a dream. I just think it is so, so gorgeous. It is a little bit like oily just around like my T-zone area. But I think it's because I didn't really set it. I just went over with a little bit of powder on my brush and just sort of dabbed it on. I don't think it was enough to kind of set my skin. I'll definitely be trying this foundation a lot more to see how it goes. And... I really like the coverage though, I just think it's so, so nice and I do like the luminosity because it just looks so dewy and not too matte for a full coverage foundation. So I'm going to continue to try it. I like it and I would recommend it but I think I'm just struggling at the minute with my skin so I think I'm struggling to love foundation at the minute because nothing's clearing up my spots but I do like this foundation do I prefer it? I actually think I do prefer it to the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I think it feels a lot nicer on my skin. It doesn't take as much product to create that high coverage look that I'm looking for. And it also doesn't feel cakey and isn't moving around as much. Like sometimes I come to the end of the day and all my foundation is off my chin or it's moved from under my eyes. But this still looks like it did before I left this morning. So that's really, really good. But I think I just need to play with foundation a bit more and see if I can create that look I'm really looking for. There's just something missing at the minute. It's just a little thing that just needs to be tweaked. But I don't think it's anything to do with the products. I think it's me applying them. But if you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. I know I'm a bit rambly today. Don't really know what's going on. And also, don't forget to comment down below any other videos you want to see me do. I am here five days a week now. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 7pm for you guys. So, I am looking forward to producing content that you guys are going to look forward to watching. But if you don't want to miss my upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We are ever growing and I am so grateful for that. 
but I hope you guys stay safe and well out there and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!